Ian Hagadila, a grade 6 teacher at Fountain School in Kasama, Northern Province of Zambia. Today, I will take you uh, in home economics, home economics, where we look at the household pests, household pests. Now, it is important that before we look at the main topic for today, we revise something on what we looked at last time. So last time we defined what household pests are and also the examples of these uh, household pests. So household pests, we say these are living things found in a, or in a house or a home that may cause destruction um, to the house and uh, discomfort to the people living there. We say household pests these are living things found in a house or home that may cause destruction to the house and discomfort to the people living there. We looked at examples of household pests, common examples of household pests. We say we have mosquito, we have mouse, we have lice, a bed bug, and also a fly. So these are examples of household pests, common examples of household pests. Now today, we will not look at examples. Today we will look at the dangers, um, the dangers of household pests. So today we will look at dangers. Dangers of household, household pests. Dangers of household pests. That's the main uh, topic we are going to look at today. So I'm urging you to pay attention to the lesson for today and stop whatever you are doing so that you understand whatever we are going to discuss. So now, under the uh, dangers of household pests, Number one, we can say they damage properties, okay, and materials. So one of the dangers is that um, they damage, they damage different, different, uh, different materials, materials and properties. So under materials and properties we can say they may damage clothes, wood, wall, machines. And examples of uh, household pests that can damage different materials and properties we have mice and cockroaches. So examples Examples of pests are one, we have mice and cockroaches. So these are examples of pests, pests that can damage different materials and the properties. We say properties that can be damaged. Uh, by these uh, pests, we have wood, clothes, walls, and machines, different machines. Then, the other danger is that they cause diseases. So, number two, these uh, pests that we are talking about, they um, cause, they cause diseases. Who can you tell me one of the examples of examples of disease that can be caused by uh, these household pests. Very good. So we are saying uh, disease that can be caused by these pests, we have malaria. For example, so example, examples we have malaria. Just wake up in the morning, you find your body 
it's full of rashes, you know. So we are saying some of the diseases that can be caused by these household pests, we have malaria and also skin diseases. What are some of the examples of these household pests that can cause diseases? We have number one, mosquitoes. So examples of pests. We have mosquitoes, mosquitoes, we also have um, bed bugs, we have bed bugs, bed bugs, we have lice, lice and flies. So these are some of the household pests that can cause different diseases. So the other um, uh, danger of these household pests sometimes, we can say they suck blood from our body. They suck. They suck blood from, from our body. They suck blood from our body. So examples of um, pests that suck blood from our body, we have mosquitoes and bed bugs. We have bed bugs and mosquitoes. So these are the two examples of household pests that can uh, you know, suck or that suck blood from our body, hence sometimes bringing other diseases. The fourth one, we may say they contaminate. They contaminate. They contaminate the food. And why is this? Uh, some of the household pests contaminate your, your food. What will come into you know, existence to your body? You have different diseases. So we have examples of um, uh, pests that can or that contaminate uh, contaminate the food. We have flies. We have flies. So these are some of the dangers of household pests. Now, let's talk about the prevention. How can we prevent you know, these household pests? Number one, we can say household pests can be prevented by the following reasons, by the following ways. By the following ways. By the following ways. How can you prevent these household pests? Once you discover that in your house there are these household pests, what are you supposed to do so that you prevent them from having these diseases? So, number one, by spraying. By spraying. Number one, we are saying one way you can prevent these household pests you can say, so we say prevention. We are saying one way is by, um, by spraying. What does it mean? When we say by spraying, this is where you can use two different chemicals. The first one is insecticide. Sometimes you can use pesticide. You just walk into a shop, you ask the shopkeeper to say, I'm asking for any insecticide. So by spraying, what we mean is you can use different chemicals, number one. So using insecticide. Insecticides and pesticide. Pesticides. 
by spraying. So if the person came to say, can you write maybe different ways on how you can prevent the household pest? You say, number one, by spraying. What should you use when you are spraying? You use these two things, insecticides or pesticide. The other way you can prevent these uh, household pests use by use or using traps. Using traps. What we mean by using traps? You can use traps like, for example, if you want to prevent rats or mice. So you can say use of traps. You can say pests can be prevented using traps. And the examples of uh, household pests that can be prevented using traps, we have mice. Okay? Mice and also rats. The other way is by using poison. Okay? Using poison. By using poison. So under poison, we can say poison is put on a small, a small portion of food and it is left lying around. This, when you put poison on any small portion of the food, these household pests, examples, rats, they'll be attracted to the food, you know. By eating that food, then you are poisoning these. After some time, you discover that these household pests are removed or they are dead. So, the other way we can say by good hygiene. Practicing good hygiene. By practicing good hygiene. In as much as you are living in a house, you should ensure that uh, proper hygiene is uh, practiced so as to avoid pests like flies and other uh, pests. So we can say by practicing, by, by practicing, practicing, practicing good hygiene. By practicing good hygiene. So these are the four ways you can use to prevent household pests. Now, having said all this, I want you to look at something on this chart so that we have something in our minds so that we don't even forget. We don't even forget. So that we don't forget. So we were looking at dangers of household pests. Dangers of household pests, number one, we said they damage properties like wood, clothes, machines, and others. Examples of pests that, you know, uh, uh, cause, uh, that have some of the dangers we have, mice and cockroaches. These Two pests, they can damage properties and different materials. The other one, they cause diseases like malaria and skin diseases like rash. Examples of pests, we have mosquitoes, bed bugs, lice and flies. Number three, they suck blood from our body. Examples, we said we have bed bugs and mosquitoes. They also contaminate the food. Examples of a pest that contaminates our food when we cook delicious food, you have flies, if not well prevented. Now, what are some of the preventions we are saying? Number one, by spraying using insecticides and pesticides. Pesticides. Then number two, by using traps. Then by using poison and by practicing good hygiene. So having looked at these things, I want you now to get your book, you get your book, your pen and your pencil and your ruler so that whatever we are going to write now in the exercise, you write in a very good handwriting so that it helps you also to, uh, to, to, to study. So be ready for the exercise. Well, so these are the questions that I've prepared based on the lesson we are discussing. So, 
the first one says mention at least four dangers of household pests. I want you to list or mention four dangers of these household pests. Then the last one outline the four preventions and control of uh, household pests. I want you to mention or list four preventions. How can we prevent and control these household pests? So remember to write your work in a very good handwriting. So this is where we come to the end of the lesson for today in home economics where we are looking at household pests and uh, dangers of household pests. So you have been with me Chicha Ian, who is teaching grade 6 at Fountain School in Kasama of Northern Province of Zambia. Until next time, bye-bye.